Well, by now you know the hype around the Barbie movie. It is finally here, released last night. It will be the debut over this weekend. We're expecting more than $100 million in box office receipts. But what does this mean for the company that owns Barbie, that is Mattel? It's pretty universally loved by the straight right now, but it has had its own trials and tribulations, just like Barbie. Let's bring in Jamie Katz, senior equity analyst at Morningstar. Jamie, what do you think? Is this kind of an investable event for Mattel? How material do you expect you know, the movie to translate into interest for the toys? It's really just one big ad for the toy. Yeah, I think this has provided a really nice lift to the visibility of the brand and, you know, resurrected interest in the brand. So while, you know, the doll business will clearly be impacted in the near term by maybe higher interest in the product, I think what we're really interested to see more is how the consumer products um, that have been out licensed from the Barbie brand uh, will contribute to this. Uh, as I'm sure, you know, many consumers have seen, there are things like Barbie uh, Crocs, there's Barbie frozen yogurt, there's Barbie um, by Gap. And so all of these products sort of add to the cultural wheelhouse of reminding consumers what Barbie is about and why they should be interested in her. And that just creates sort of positive momentum around, uh, around the name um, from a brand perspective. What's been the business model around this whole thing? You know, the with all the crazy marketing that's literally everywhere, um, and 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 now the movie, like dollars and cents, how much accrues to Mattel? Well, that'll be interesting to see, right? So when they outlicense their brand to other um, consumer companies, those are contracted to have some sort of fee rate back to Mattel. Now, we obviously don't have insight into what those um, what those contracts look like, but I think, you know, if we consider maybe what something like a Transformers would have done, you know, that had a pretty significant um, contribution. So could it be a couple hundred million dollars in a movie year? Yes. The real question for us is what happens next year when we start lapping this bump in revenues and will that sort of spook investors over the longer term? Has the company talked about this being almost a strategic pivot point? Um, we've heard reports of them, you know, digging into the toy chest literally and saying, OK, what else can we turn into a movie? Does Mattel get a media unit? Well, I don't know if they're necessarily going to uh, establish a media unit right now. As we look at sort of how this evolved for Hasbro, I think that that leaves sort of a nice proxy for us um, as to how this may evolve for Mattel, right? You have things like Transformers, My Little Pony, some of the Hasbro brands that have gone through this evolution um, for, for content and movie making and maybe how this leads up. And I think the partnership model works very well because making movies may not be Mattel's core competency um, at this stage of the game. And quite frankly, they're at a really good place operationally um, with, you know, their manufacturing and their third party manufacturing and just sort of refocusing on the brands that have the best ROI for them. Why do you have a buy on Mattel? What's the catalyst? I mean, I don't I don't know that there's necessarily a catalyst to us. The shares look undervalued fundamentally. They are at about a 15 percent discount. The shares have run up about 20 percent this year um, so far. And I think there are good um, intellectual property pieces within their brand portfolio. Uh, I do think that if you want something with a little bit more of a discount, Hasbro is still trading at closer to a 40 percent discount. But both of these businesses have a very well Port, uh, known portfolio of brands um, that consumers are very loyal to, and they're figuring out how to capitalize and monetize those brands. Um, and that really allows the businesses to uh, generate a, a decent amount of free cash flow and then return the, the cash to shareholders. Well, as excited as I am about the movie, I am interested to know, you know, how much of the hype has already been built into the stock as recent rally, um, let's call it, month in the past month the stock is up 19 percent um you know do you have numbers around what this what this movie what this interest could do in terms of material sales growth Right. So I think uh, what I said earlier was basically that, you know, in a movie year, oftentimes we'll see that something like this can contribute a couple hundred million dollars um, to the revenues line. Um, and so 
there are partnerships here that should continue to benefit, probably through the holiday season, um, residually about you know from stemming from this movie and this release. Um, and then again, our main sort of issue is what happens when the year rolls over. What comes next? Can can Mattel um, ensure that Barbie remains an evergreen interest for the company?